click, click, click. Hello everyone and welcome to Firenze, Italy or Florence as we know it in North America and the English speaking world. I just realized how kind of cool the lighting is. It's a little bit awkward maybe, but it looks dramatic to me. And so I thought what I would do is uh, talk a little bit about my gear. First things first, hats. Um, as you may have noticed over the years, I've been getting sunspots in my face and so Camera Girl is very particular about me protecting my skin and so having hats is my number one accessory while I'm out and about. Lots of sun is hot and so having these baseball caps are fun but when the sun hits, as you can see, it doesn't really protect my face very well and so uh, I came here not with this hat. This is a Coop hat so thank you so much Ulrich and the team for giving me a whole bunch of swag while I was there but the, this Coop hat is fun because it's light colored but this is the hat that I came here with. Yes, my basic revolver baseball cap. It's cool. I like it in Vancouver, but because of the heat, because of the sun, a black hat with black hair is not really conducive to really hot weather. And so this is being retired while I'm in Italy. I might wear it on the way back to Canada, but uh, for now it's going to be this hat for basically light hat days. And now this is another hat I brought from Canada. This is my Tilly hat. And I actually wear this when I go for a walk. My cousin called it a Boy Scout hat, but over time she said she got used to me wearing it. Um, I, one thing I like about these hats, other than the baseball cap, is these brims are soft. So if I wanted to shoot vertical, the brim doesn't, uh, doesn't get in the way. So I kind of do like these hats. But as you can tell, I mean, the angle of the sun is a little bit low right now because it's getting later in the day. It's uh, 7.30 now. And so during high noon, it definitely protects my head and my face while I'm out and about. But this is a little bit thick as well. It doesn't breathe that well, but it protects my face. And so I did bring another hat. This is my Sunday hat. Now it's a little bit less protective than the Tilly hat. As I mentioned in my other video, I am making company visits. Uh, the other half of the school is luxury branding. And so we are going into some high-end retail shops. We're going to cultural visits. So being culturally respectful, it's nice to have uh, a, a nicer looking hat like this. Sunday hat from Amazon, not very expensive. This is my final hat. This is a Mobauer, I think it is. It's in collaboration with Coop. Uh, they make custom hats uh, with Coop. Now I think this, and this is made, uh, handmade in Austria, and they do custom make it to your head size. They just happen to have one exactly my head size. So thank you Ulrich for giving me one of your samples, but beautiful hat. It's, it's a straw hat, so it's very breathable. So it's again, less protective than this hat or this hat but my head gets less hot. So when the sun isn't that bright, it's nice to have a hat like this. And again, because of the brim that it's soft, I can shoot like this vertically and this is malleable. And if I do want a little bit more protection, it doesn't look as cool. I can sort of push it down like this or put it kind of put it up like this and be a little bit more stylish. And so five hats. I think hats are really important when there's a lot of sun. And if, especially if you don't like wearing sunscreen, I recommend you wear sunscreen. But if you don't, then having hats that will shade your face and keep your head cool in the sun. So that's accessory number one. All right, my favorite accessory number two is battery power. So this is a anchor. Um, I have bigger anchor ones. This is like, I think 20,000 milliamp hours, but having this and charging my iPhone, I'm shooting this on an iPhone, but you're constantly shooting when you are out and about. I never have to try to find a plug in or anything like that. I'm always juiced up. As well as my Ulanzi J12s for kind of quick interviews. I did one with uh, Giberto Benny from uh, from Leica Italy in Rome. I love Leica, I love the brand, I love the cameras, I love photography, and I really, I love the stores. Uh, it's something like uh, really personal for me, work for Leica because I am like a user. And so having something like this, right now I'm shooting this on the Rode Wireless Go 2. So thank you Rode for sending these out to me. These are like my main wireless uh, microphone setup. It's recording back up onto the device in my pocket, but as well recording directly into my iPhone. And so great wireless system. But if you're just kind of running and gunning and doing something quick, J12 is the way to go. And finally bags. Let's talk about bags. I brought the three primary bags. This one here is my uh, Wotencraft Pilot 7 liter. Perfect for carrying two or three cameras and some daily carry stuff. There's two side pockets. I was, it rained a couple times, so having an umbrella on one side, a water bottle in another side, and being able to carry camera equipment, my wallet, money, and any other kind of accessories, this 7 liter Pilot has been perfect while in Italy. As well as this uh, 
the, the new 3.5 meter sling. I use this on the airplane as well as on lighter days. There are some places like museums and galleries that will not allow large bags inside. And so even though seven liter pilot is not large, I would say because sometimes it's a subjective decision to say that bag is too big, please check it in. Um, I would switch over to something smaller like this, or if I'm going out for dinner and I don't want to carry too much stuff, this 3.5 liter is perfect. I can still put one camera body in here, but I can't put as much in here versus this, but it is good to have something small like this. And this is kind of something that I haven't talked much about is Wolton Crafts kind of reuse Usable Cordura shopping bags. Uh, I can't remember the price on these. They're not that expensive. I just did laundry today and just being able to carry this to go to the laundromat, have your laundry in here, or even from a hotel when I'm giving a lecture downstairs, be able to just put my laptop, my iPad, and just a couple of few things without having to pack out a, a camera bag. It's nice to have something like this, or this is small enough to actually fit inside my seven liter pilot bag. And this one here also is small enough. I forgot the sizes of these two shopping bags, but the smaller one actually fits inside the sling bag here. So if you ever find yourself shopping and you just bought some things, it's nice to have these smaller bags. This actually does hold my iPad. And I think even my MacBook Air will fit inside, but it'll stick out a little bit. Um, these two bags have been very useful while traveling. And so I highly recommend, this is waterproof, right? Cordura, and it has some leather accents and nice handles and just really cool looking. And it matches all my other Wotencraft bags. And so let's talk about the final bag that I use, my primary bag that I use to bring all my gear to Germany and then to Italy, as well as if I have some heavy shooting days or heavy days where I have to carry a couple of cameras and a laptop. Let's go look at the bag now. All right, this is the Coop Helioflex. Uh, you've probably seen this picture in my Instagram feed as well. Go check out the Kickstarter that uh, Coop has. And I actually took this from Vancouver all the way back to uh, Fuchsel, Austria, and I shot a couple of videos with them. This bag has been awesome on this shirt because I do carry a little bit of different things. So, so inside here is a little camera module right here. This can stick onto the outside, but personally, I would never do that. I would keep it deep inside the belly of this backpack and in here basically fit all my camera gear. I had the Q2, the M7 with the 28 and 40, had the GR with the wide angle adapter, had all my film, oh, I'll even show you here, I have two of the Japan Camera Hunter uh, film holders in here like this, memory cards, uh, just a whole bunch of little accessories. It all fits inside here, a little zippered front here for more accessories. And it has a handle, and you can use the separate strap and use this as a separate camera bag, but I just like the squareness of this. And this is just kind of easy to use and use it as a, as a separate module. Another cool module is this, uh, the main reason why the, the Helio Flex exists. Helio, I think meaning the sun or solar. This thing attaches to the front and it can charge whatever device you have with you. Um, the specs will be on the Kickstarter of how much power this can generate. It does need to kind of be in direct sunlight, so like this, but if you're out and about, and you don't have a battery pack, I recommend to always have one of these, but you can trickle charge this using this solar panel. So have this inside here, and then if your charger allows to trickle charge itself, but as well to charge something else, then you can have your iPhone or something and charge your iPhone. So it's nice to be able to have an accessory like this, but if you don't want to use this, which I don't always, I don't always have that on, then I just keep it clean like this, or there's the other module without the solar panel, or just have it nice and clean like this. But having this top half to put my DOP kit, having this back half to be able to have my laptop, my iPad, all my hard drives and accessories, and then having that module on the inside to carry all my camera equipment, this is perfect for someone like me. I've always looked for bags like this where as I make these big travels, I need a bag that will basically carry all my electronics, all my camera gear, and put it all in one place. And once I get to that place, then I have those, the smaller bags that are used for daily carry and daily use. And so that's sort of my main accessories. There are other little things that I brought with me, but those are the main ones. Again, the three cameras I have here, the Q2, the M7, and the GR3 with the wide angle converter. I think that's all I need for one month while I'm here in Italy as well as in Germany. And so thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Affiliate links and non-affiliate links for all the things that I mentioned. Thanks for watching and happy shooting. Click, click, click. Man, the sun is moving. I hope, I hope my face looks all right. It's, does it still look good? I hope it still looks good.